Right now, when we use AI models in our code, we are hard coding them everywhere. We write OpenAI GPT-5 Nano in one file, and then Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 4 in another. But what happens when you want to switch models, or test different providers, or update to a new model version? You would have to change model names everywhere, which can be a maintenance headache. Plus, what if you want to use the same model with different settings in different parts of your app? Maybe you want high reasoning effort for complex tasks, but low effort for simple ones. Or maybe you want to give your models friendly aliases like fast or smart instead of remembering version numbers like Cloud Sonnet 4, 2025, 05, 14. Right now, you would have to configure these settings every single time you use a model. The AI SDK solves this with custom providers and a provider registry. With custom providers, you can pre-configure model settings, provide model name aliases, and limit the available models. The provider registry lets you mix multiple providers and access them through simple string IDs. It's like having a control panel for all your AI models in one place. Let's dive in and see how this works. Let's start fresh with a new implementation. In the API folder, create a new folder called Provider Management. Inside, create a route.ts file with our basic chat setup. I'm going to paste the code to save us some time. We make the necessary imports at the top. We have a post request handler. From the request body, we extract messages. We call stream text with model OpenAI GPT-5 Nano, and we convert UI messages to model messages. We return result.UI message stream response, a standard route handler we have seen before. Similarly, in the UI folder, create a provider management folder with a page.tsx file. Copy the basic chat UI from before. So chat page.tsx, paste it, and update the component name as well as the endpoint. So provider management page, import default chat transport from AI, and when invoking use chat hook, pass in an object with transport set to new default chat transport, pass in an object with API set to slash API slash provider hyphen management. You can test this out at localhost 3000 slash UI slash provider hyphen management. If you ask the question, what is React? You can see it works perfectly. But if you look at our route handler, it is clear we are still hard coding our model. Let's fix that. The first thing we'll do is create model aliases. Instead of remembering exact model names and versions, we will use friendly names like fast and smart. So in the API provider management folder, create a new file called models.ts. First, we import the original OpenAI provider. So OpenAI as original OpenAI from AI SDK slash OpenAI. Next, we will import the custom provider function from the AI SDK. So import custom provider from AI. Now let's create our custom provider with aliases. So export const openAI is equal to custom provider. We pass in an object where we specify language models. This is an object. We have fast set to original openAI, GPT-5 nano, and then smart original openAI, GPT-5 mini. And we will also set fallback provider to original OpenAI. So what's happening here is that we are creating a custom provider that maps fast to GPT-5 Nano and smart to GPT-5 Mini. The fallback provider means if someone uses a model name we haven't aliased, it will pass through to the original OpenAI provider. Next, update the route handler to use this custom provider. So at the top, import openAI from dot slash models. And when specifying the model in stream text, openAI, we specify openAI dot language model, and we pass in our alias. 
fast. Save the file, head back to the browser, and enter the prompt, what is React? You can see our chat interface still works, but now we're using our alias. You can change it to OpenAI language model smart, and you'll be using the more powerful model. The beauty with this approach is if OpenAI releases a new version, you just update it in one place, the models.ts file, and your entire app uses that new version. Now let's say we want a reasoning model that always uses high reasoning effort. We don't want to specify this every time we use it, so let's add that to our custom provider. In models.ts, we need a couple more imports. Import default settings middleware, as well as wrap language model from AI, which I realized could be just one import statement. And now we can add a reasoning model with pre-configured settings. So after smart, let's create an alias called reasoning, where we wrap language model, pass in an object, and the model we are wrapping is original OpenAI, GPT-5 Nano, and we specify middleware, default settings middleware, we specify an object again, and we update the settings to provider options, OpenAI, which is an object, and we set reasoning effort high. We're basically wrapping the model with middleware that sets default settings. Now, whenever someone uses OpenAI reasoning, it automatically uses high reasoning effort. So back in the route handler, we can specify OpenAI.LanguageModel reasoning. Back in the browser, you can test this with a complex question like explain recursion with an example. The model will use high reasoning effort automatically. Now what if you want to use multiple providers? For that, we can use the create provider registry function to create a registry that can handle both OpenAI and Anthropic models. So first, install the Anthropic provider if you haven't already, or simply follow along with me if you don't have an Anthropic key. Next, update models.ts with some more imports. Import Anthropic from AI SDK slash Anthropic, and from the AI package, create provider registry. Now we can create custom providers for both OpenAI and Anthropic. So this will be just const custom OpenAI with our existing custom provider of different aliases, fast, smart, and reasoning. And we can create a similar one for Anthropic. So const custom Anthropic, custom provider, we specify an object, language models, which is an object again. We set fast to Anthropic, Cloud 3.5 Haiku, 2024, 10, 22. And we can set smart to Anthropic, Cloud Sonnet 4. Now that we have both custom OpenAI and custom Anthropic, we can create a registry that combines both. So export const registry is equal to create provider registry pass in an object where we set OpenAI to custom OpenAI and Anthropic to custom Anthropic. The registry uses a colon as the separator by default. So you can access models like OpenAI colon fast or Anthropic colon smart. Let's go back to the route handler, update the import, to import registry from dot slash models and update stream text to model registry dot language model openai colon fast. The language model method on the registry finds the right provider and the model based on the string ID. Back in the chat, you can ask, who are you? And you will see chat GPT. But now you can easily switch providers. So change it to anthropic colon smart and ask the same question, who are you? You can see the AI respond with Claude. There's no need to change imports or anything else. All you have to do is just update the string. We have successfully implemented 
Provider and Model Management with the AI SDK. Let me summarize what we have learned. Provider management solves the problem of hard coding models throughout your code base. Instead of scattered model references, you have a central place to manage all your AI providers and models. We started by creating model aliases with custom providers, giving friendly names like fast and smart to specific model versions. Then we added pre-configured settings, so models like our reasoning model always uses high reasoning effort without having to specify it each time. Finally, we created a provider registry that combines multiple providers, letting us access model from any provider with a simple string ID like OpenAI Fast or Anthropic Smart. In a large app, you could have different models for different tasks, a fast model for simple queries, a smart model for complex ones, a reasoning model for problem solving, and specialized models for specific domains. All managed in one place, all easily switchable, all with their own pre-configured settings.